the challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Husky! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes a trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wounded dog king met that challenge and justice ruled triumphant. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted stood with Jim Peters watching the passengers disembark from the riverboat Bonanza Bell. Beside him was his big lead dog, King. Suddenly, the hair on King's back rose, and a low growl rumbled in his throat as a young couple came down the gangplank, leading the biggest dog anyone on the dock had ever seen. He was almost as big as a Shetland pony. His coat was a shaggy gray, and he carried his huge head regally, as if proud of the royal blood in his veins. Jim Peters finally got his breath. Holy jumping Jehoshaphat, when you look at that animal, what is it? That's the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. Quiet, King. If you're as smart as I think you are, you'll make friends with that fellow. Well, Sergeant, look at the jaws on him. One snap and he could bite a man's head off. What is he, an Airedale crossed with an elephant? Well, Jim, I believe he's an Irish wolfhound. I've heard of them. This is the first one I've ever seen. Well, come on, let's get a closer look at him. Hold tight to his leash, Mary. Marty has a big dog, too. Oh, Tara won't make trouble. Welcome to Whitehorse. I'm Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mountain. How do you do? I'm Tom Carney, and this is my wife. How, How do, you do you do? We just arrived from Ireland. We'll be wanting some information if you don't mind helping us. Well, that's part of my job. Uh, this is Jim Peters. How do you, Mary? Steady, King. Oh, let them make friends if they will. You have a brave dog there, Sergeant. Poor Tara can seldom make friends with any. Most of them take one look at him and run with their tails drooping. <laughs> <laughs> and Father is gentle as a summer breeze and has never killed more than a flea. <laughs> look at him, walking around <laughs> stiff-legged. Careful there, King. Now, see? Their tails are beginning to wag. I knew King had good friends. Oh, two grand animals they are. Each appreciation how fine the other is. Your dog's an Irish wolfhound, isn't he? That he is. And one of the few purebred ones left. They're rare now, even in Ireland. Tara's ancestors killed most of the wolves in the land. Are you planning to stay in Whitehorse? For a bit. Well, the town is packed jam. There ain't an inch of room in the hotel. Oh, mercy on us. Shall we be sleeping out in the snow, do you think? I know what you can do. I'm taking a trip for a couple of days. Check my cabin till you find something. Sure, and that's mighty nice of you. Oh, shucks, say nothing. I'll have my dog sled back here. I'll get it. We'll take you right over to Pete's. Sergeant Preston had arrived to say goodbye to Tom and Mary the evening before they left for the north. Mary smiled as she watched King and Tara greet each other. Oh, sure, and it tickles me to watch these dogs when they meet, trying to be dignified in spite of their pleasure at seeing each other. I think we'd better put them out, Mary. They're rather large for this place. Good idea. They take up all the room. <laughs> Come, Tara. You and King, outside for a while. Oh, no. you go? Looks as if you're all ready for your trip, Tom. What we wanted to talk to you about, Sergeant. You've been very kind, helping us and asking no questions. Mary and I have decided to tell you our secret. You've probably been wondering why we came to this country. Well, most people come for one reason, gold. That's why we came. My grandfather took gold out of this land, but he was old and left his claim to come back to Ireland to die. He divided his wealth, and because I was the youngest and like adventure, he left the claim to me. I have the map here to show where it is. Oh? They tell me you know this country like the palm of your hand. Tell me, would this spot be hard to find? Oh, let's see. Hmm, I wonder how your grandfather ever found this. It's in a very isolated section. Do you think we could locate it? It won't be easy, Tom. I'd feel better about it if you'd... Had more experience in this country. Oh, don't worry about us, Sergeant. Tom and I have trailed all over the roughest spots of Ireland. But this is far north. The cold up there will be terrific in a week or so. I'm going north in about three weeks if you'll wait. I'm out. afraid we'd slow you down. Mary and I will take it in easy stages. You may even catch up with us. Well, it's up to you, Tom. 
Now, here's what I'd suggest you do. Two weeks of steady traveling carried Tom and Mary far north. Tara ran free after proving too big and too fast for the rest of the dog team. Then suddenly, the terrible winter of the Yukon struck. It was heralded by a blizzard. Mary, we're going to have to stop. I'm afraid we've lost the trail. Oh, but, but there's no shelter, Tom. No trees. There's no way of finding any. I, I don't know now. from south. Oh, how are you, Doc? We'll wait till this blizzard is over. Best thing to do is get into our sleeping bags and pray that by morning the storm is over and we're still alive. I'll help and load. Stay close to Mary Tara. And shelter her from the wind. I won't unharness the dogs, Mary. Tom. Tom, wake up. Wake up. Yes? Yes, my darling. Are you all right? I'm all right, but... But, Tom, the sled is gone. The dogs have run away. Gone? They can't be... Oh, Mary. They went off while we slept. Oh. At least the wind has stopped. If only it would stop snowing, blinding whiteness, like a thick veil. Tara could help you find them. Well, Tom, you must go at once. All our supplies are on that sled. But I can't leave you alone. I may not be able to find you. Oh, Tara will bring you back to me. I'll be all right. Oh, very well. I'll leave the rifle with you and the cartridges I have in my pocket. They're all I have. The rest are in the sled. Oh, don't worry about me, my darling. Go now. And the saints be with you. The hours dragged by, with no sign of Tom. The snow had stopped, and the sun was reflected from the white ground with a blinding glare. Suddenly, a gray shape that Mary thought was Tara appeared for a moment at the top of the slope. Tara! Tara! Oh, now that's queer. I was sure. Tara! Oh, this horrible glare I can't see. Glory be to heaven. It's the cry of a wolf. Mother of heaven, let my aim be straight. Mary! Mary! Oh, thank you to God, it's Tom! Tom! Tom, hurry! But, but Tom, where are the dogs? Tara pulling the sled. And you? Oh, Tom, what's wrong? Mary, I... I can't see you. I couldn't find my goggles when the sun came out. Oh. I couldn't find them. That blinding glare, it, it's done something to my eyes. It's no blind you are. Oh, Tom, the darling. The dogs had upset the sled and chewed themselves loose. They were gone and our supplies were scattered, buried in snow. I searched for them for hours in that blinding light. That's what happened to my eyes. I brought some wood and found our axe. Tara led me back to you, and I heard the shot. Sit down in the sled, my dear. I'll put a scarf over your eyes. Uh, let Tara loosen the harness. Oh, all right. Let me undo that strap, then. <laughs> Mary, why did you shoot? Why, I... Oh, sure, and I just imagined I saw something on the slope. Oh, here, now. Let me bind this around your eyes. What's that? <coughs> Sounded like a wolf calling to a tree. Oh, Tara, come back! Tommy's gone after me. Tara, no! Mary, we must let him go. That wolf will draw a pack of him if he stays alive. Tara's our only hope. Oh, heaven help the brave heart of him. Can you see him, Mary? Tell me. Oh, Tara's gone over the top of the slope. There's the wolf. It's running across the plain. And now Tara's... Oh, Tom! They're fighting! It won't last long, Mary. All the blood of Tara's ancestors is boiling in his veins. This is what he was born and bred for. Tara's come into his home. Oh, it, it didn't last long, Tom. Tara's coming back. A feeling of wild exultation burned in the breast of Tara the wolfhound. Through all the years of gentle living, there had been a feeling deep inside him, a power that cried for expression. Now he knew what it was he had craved, the chase and the kill. Dawn found him pacing back and forth, a deep whine in his throat. <laughs> what is it, boy? Go on, Tara. Go and hunt and eat your fill. We're safe as long as it's light. He knows what I mean, Mary, doesn't he? Oh, faith, yes. You 
motor to run in like the wind itself. He'll cover 30 or 40 miles this day. Tom, your eyes, are they no better? They burn less, but I still can't see. Sergeant Preston had headed north earlier than he had planned, prompted by a feeling of an anxiety about his new friend. He was about to stop his team and make camp in the fading daylight when King barked sharply and stopped. Oh, hi, What's the matter, boy? What is it, boy? A track. Well, that's, that's Taurus' track, but it's old. Something's happened. All right, boy, after it. On King! On your husky! Again, Tom. And it's more words than one. They're answering each other. Oh, where could Tara be? It's been dark for hours. Keep the fire bright, Mary. That'll keep the beast away. If only I could see. Tom, I, I've used the last of the wood. Mary. Yes, darling? Give you the rifle hand. It's here, across my knee. And how many cartridges are left? Four, Tom. We must save two, just in case. Oh, it's safe. Tom! Tom, I see it! And there's another! Whoa, Tom, they are eyes like fiery coals! And more are coming! You hear them? I brushed them with his axe so I could see. The moonlight reflected on the plane. Their shapes are like black shadows crossing it. And now there's another, a big one! Tara! Tara! Tara, boy! Dogs and you, Sergeant. I, I don't know how to thank you. I don't want any thanks, and neither do they. <laughs> oh, oh, look! Tara's tail! He's trying to show us he's all right. Yes, King. Your friend is going to live. copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hal Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.